Consumer products like a game controller can seem simple to the uninitiated, but they get deceptively more complex the more you dig into them. They're often made up of multiple housings and other pieces with complex interconnected mating surfaces, and they must contain all the required internal electronics while protecting them from shock, vibration, and other environmental factors. Working at Solid Professor, I've had the opportunity to contribute as a subject matter expert on a variety of courses, including SolidWorks Surfacing for Industrial Design, where we guide the user through the creation of some pretty complex CAD models, including this joystick model. Maintaining curvature continuity or the smoothness of the different connected surfaces is a vital criteria for consumer products. And we spend quite a bit of effort to make sure we maintain this in addition to other requirements, such as manufacturability concerns like draft angles for injection molded parts. When it comes to the internal detailing of the parts though, adding any supporting ribs and bosses and different features, many designers will turn to plastic part design guidelines. And the polymer manufacturers themselves can be a useful resource for this. They often provide helpful PDFs that will detail the size and shape of recommended features to use with their polymers. What could be most useful though would be a production quality CAD model you could keep in your back pocket that features all of these things implemented on a real device. This is exceedingly rare to find since most companies are very protective of their intellectual property. But Valve, the developers of the Steam Deck handheld console and the now discontinued Steam controller, have a different stance on intellectual property. And they believe that sharing the models openly can help push the whole industry forward. For this reason, you can download the full set of the Steam Controller CAD models, an 800 megabyte zip file, directly from Steam's website. This is really worth exploring regardless of your CAD system. It features all the buttons, triggers, and internal electronics. The external parts are of great surface quality, and they're also drafted appropriately for injection molding. It also has all the internal details like ribs and bosses that you could spend days dissecting and understanding as a reference. It's really worth taking a look at and adding to your own personal model collection. The Steam Deck handheld console is also available, but it only features the exterior surfaces. It's still worth taking a look at though, and it's really fun to play with for photo rendering. Be sure to check out the terms of Valve's license on these models and make sure that it complies with the usage you have in mind but pretty much everyone should be able to use these models as learning examples, and you should also be able to design and 3D print your own modifications or accessories if you want to. All the resources discussed in this video will be linked in the description below, and let us know in the comments if you'd like to see more general engineering tips, and also if there's specific resources that you think we should be pointing out. Thanks for watching.